and a welcome to City Field, New York's National League ballpark in Flushing, Queens. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. The game's count starting now. It's opening day. It's the show. And it's coming up next. Jacob DeGrom gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done, controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win, and that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Tyson Randolph stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one two three. It's the Braves nothing Mets coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So it's back to the top of the order now and that'll bring in Number Jeff six. McNeil. Trying to strike out the side here it is. This one skied out toward right. Randolph gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. And now in the box, Tyson Randolph. He bounced out last time up. Now the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. And a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1 and 2 now. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Knee high, he barehands it oh. in time. Down in order go the Braves. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Into the box, Kyle Lewis. His career numbers in this matchup is just one for six. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Randolph is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Ready now is Jeff McNeil. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back, the right fielder gone into the upper tank. A 
two run blast to straight away right field first home run of the campaign for him as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. There's still some game left to be played but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Now it'll be Tyson Randolph rounded out in his last at bat. Below the knees one ball no strikes. Right guy right spot this is one of the better hitters in their lineup just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front a ball and a strike. Hey it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh that's a tough call now one and two. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. He stays alive still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Davis has got it. And there are two away now. So stepping in is Francisco Lindor in his career against this pitcher. He's a 333 hitter. Skied into straightaway right. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. So next to bat will be Tyson Randolph. From the stretch. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. And now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here. These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Simmons gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Come on big guy. We need you right here. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. When you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he fouls this one off. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Well, they've struggled off. A 2 0 finish today. The New York Mets rode an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jacob deGrom gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. Max Fried struck out 10 in the losing effort. Edwin Diaz closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to the show.com. Attendance this afternoon at City Field, 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Time for game two of the regular season between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business. Two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Noah Syndergaard is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here Danny. Well Matt you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more. So this very well could be one of those Johnny Holstaff days. Batting third. 
the right stepping in for the Braves Tyson Randolph he of course no slouch at the plate as he in fact took home the silver slugger award for National League pitchers a season ago these Mets fellas as they take the field here today they're coming off a good victory here in front of the home faithful on opening day yeah Matty I know it's a long season but they were able to win the opener and nothing would be sweeter if you can get in your car today and drive home 2-0. This is a big game. This is a nice little momentum either way. Another win here, and they're going to be feeling great about where they're at. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fouled away. One and two, here it comes. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he could. Take so one down, that no exists. one aboard. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and Francisco. perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Randolph is there and he has it for the out. So now to the plate, Jeff McNeil. Second at bat here, he reached Number via six. a single to lead off the home and first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Going back is the right fielder. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year as they stretch the lead to 5 1. One of the best qualities of this pitcher is keeping the ball in the ball. Digging in next, Tyson Randolph worked a walk his first time up. He waits, now the pitch. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here. These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Simmons the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Offers it that one a little late and it's two and two now. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. It looked like he was trying to dial nine, but when you're down by four runs early in the game, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. McNeil's got it for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets five and the Braves one. Bottom of the third now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder Dominic Smith. The left fielder. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. Lindor. The wind up and the 0 1. This is in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. Up next to the bat, the third baseman. JD. In the air to straightaway right. Davis. Randolph is back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone. So now here is Tyson Randolph. 
From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. VR at second with two down. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. Line but speared on a hop. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets five and the Braves two. Next, it'll be Jeff McNeil. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, and he wasn't fooled at all by the changeup last time. Kept his hands back and absolutely destroyed that ball. So I got to think he's not going to see a changeup in this scenario right here. Randolph will settle under it to make the play for the first out. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and stepping Lindor. in is the veteran Lindor. shortstop, Francisco Lindor, Lindor. 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 heading out toward shallow right. Lindor. Randolph has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jeff McNeil flew out last time up. Here's the 0 and 2. Pulled toward right center field. Randolph moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. And stepping in, Dominic Smith. It was a walk in his last trip. Here comes the one two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. So now into the box is Tyson Randolph. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots. And that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he So two are gone in the Mets the half bat. of the eighth. And Number that'll six. bring in Jeff McNeil. Lined into right, a base hit. And a relay to the plate. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We've played eight full. It's the Mets eight, and the Braves two. Eight to two is how this one ends today. New York jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Noah Syndergaard earns his first win of the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Ian Anderson permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Game number three of this new season between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Jose Barrios, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season, and I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that, and hopefully he gets off to a good start, and we'll see if that starts in this one today. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He'll lead things off here the in the bottom half of the first. Number six. Ah. 
in there. No balls and a strike. Guys, one of D Rose's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in nope. in a That's real funk to start the year. Still searching for what's right. been an elusive first win. Yeah, Maddie, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many yeah, runs. Yeah, the pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. Now with the plate is Austin Slater. Batting second. The right field. Ready to deliver. Here Austin. comes the first pitch. Aye. And Later. here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the oh, offense on their toes. There that opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. That to two balls and two strikes now. I got to count two and two. Pitch popped up. Langoliers moving to his left, but it's the pitcher that makes the play, and that's the second out of the inning. So here is Dominic Smith. That He's gone over his first six no at bats there. in the series so Dominic. far. Yeah. Right there for strike one. Oh, one you can really count. tell they're trying to keep guys. the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Here's a chopper left side of the infield. Swanson picks it up. Throw cleanly yeah. into first, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They still trail 1 0. The next to bat for Atlanta, Tyson Randolph. The pitcher. Tyson. From the stretch, here's the pitch. These Mets fellas, as they take the Come field here today, right come in feeling good as they're 2 0 to start the new year. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous we weekend. Boy, Dior, that's time. always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. One and two now to the Braves pitcher. up in time a look down and no up next the power bat of Pete Alonzo four hits already in the series through seven at bats and it's fouled away and the screwball is in there so he falls into a quick hole 0 and 2 and set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpire and crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Eric Summerskill behind the dish. Really likes to work the ball east-west. What did you like? Did you like north, south, east-west? I, I thought east-west, Dero. The more that I could get away with on the outside corner, inside corner, give me a wider plate than a higher plate. I think it's a lot easier to pitch to a wider plate. Standing in now, Kyle Not Lewis. And yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Throw to first, we'll take care of him. Score it 2-3 to three on the putout, and there are two gone now. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. And that'll that bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Fouled off. Lindor. We'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Mets go down 1 2 3. They trail in this one 3 0.
J.D. Davis the next to bat. He's two for go. seven Four in the series so far. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. A ball and a strike. I got a ball, one strike. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Acuna giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Now at the plate, James McCann. The catcher. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Acuna on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So here now is the pitcher, Jose Barrios. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mets pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2 2. And this is swung on and missed. Might have even been a foul tip that's held on to, but either way, the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Still down 3 0. So the next to bat will be Tyson Randolph. It struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that'll freeze the runner at third with two gone. Definitely a break right there for the defense with the ground rule double. If that ball stays in play, there's a pretty good chance the runner from first is able to score since he's moving on contact with two outs. Instead, he's forced to stay at third, so we'll see if they're able to strand him there. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. And this is lined into right field as that'll put him into the hit column for the first time. It's a solid single. In order to play at this level, you got to have unbelievable hand-eye coordination. That pitch wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to get perfect wood on that baseball. In now, Dominic Smith. Now He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the 0-1. Hey, we got one. Looks no like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The 0 2 once more. One ball, two strikes. He's had great command of his pitches all day. I don't mind him trying to go down right there and try and get a swing and a miss, but a nice job by the hitter to lay off that one in the dirt. Here we go, guys. Here he comes again, 1 2. Slater, base runner at first with one out. Here's a fly ball well hit. Santander looks up. Gone into the upper tank. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
Smoked on the ground left side. Simmons has it. Throw gets him two down. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll see. So here it is again with show track. Shows off some great range and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. Kyle Lewis stands in as he looks at a called strike. Oh and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay not in time and he's in there with a double. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. A bouncer up the middle and that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, there are big RBIs and big base hits, Dero, but none more than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always want to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. That is a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So three runs on four hits no errors and a man left on on to the top of inning number five we go and we are all tied at three apiece. And now James McCann and Dan I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that Mac that was a really rocky frame but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind it. And there's one down now. Luis Guillorme will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 16. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. And that misses one and one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Now the 2 1. Lined hard toward right center, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now to the plate, Jeff McNeil. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here in the ballgame. One ball, no strikes to count. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Grounded weakly toward third. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So a man at second here with two away and that'll bring up the left handed bat of Dominic Smith. Well Matt hold on now that ball is down and could score a run. He'll get it into second the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired. So two runs on three hits. J.P. Crawford will look to provide a And this afternoon's closes at a one run game seven to six today. New York. Came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Jerry Spamilia claims the win out of the pen, his first. Edwin Diaz earns the save out of the bullpen, his second. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. That's City Field, 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely. When things aren't going well on the mound, how do you work through that? What are the technical aspects that you have to get right? You know, getting ahead is is everything because that 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 puts the percentages in your favor. So you want to get ahead. You want to throw strikes. You want to be able to 
mess with those hitters. And sometimes you have to go back to the pin and, you know, create a new pitch or hit a different zone or try something else. I know I was I was known for a rise ball pitcher for a long time. And then it's like, wait a minute, you know, full count, they're expecting that rise ball. So I got to come back with, with something else. So I have to develop my drop ball and I want to be able to throw my drop ball and have complete confidence in it that I can throw it for a strike when the pressure's on, when I get to that full count. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Lone Depot Park in Miami. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Atlanta Braves and the Miami Marlins. And now, stay tuned for Marlins Baseball. Next, Miami Marlins. Daniel Castano gets the ball for Miami in this one. Dan, any thoughts? This guy had a year you'd love to forget last year. Awfully ugly. We'll see if he can rebound and pitch much better. And if he doesn't, his spot in the rotation could be in jeopardy. Striding in is Tyson Randolph. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight, it appears to be all systems go to start the new year as they've come out of the gates on a four-game winning streak. Hey, Matty B, talking about a team that's on a roll right now, Dior. How about this? Through the first four games of this homestand, perfect 4-0. They've got their sights set, Dior, on some bigger and better things. And you know what, Dan, and the fans feel it. You can tell there's an electric atmosphere brewing in this, in, in this stadium right now, and hopefully it continues. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. The second baseman, Colton. And the Marlins had their first hit of the game. There's a lot of moving parts in some guy's swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Next to hit is Connor Scott. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The center fielder, Connor. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. 
Randolph will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on three innings complete and we are tied nothing nothing. Now to the plate here is Tyson Randolph he's 0 for 1 thus far. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. Well if you love pitching and defense this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that Dan. Oh you have to love you know Matt we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 nope. and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring Thank pitchers duel for Dog once. Garbage. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The 2-1. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner and if you miss and you walk him so what that's better than him putting one in the seats. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Drilled to the left side. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. Wow. That ball almost got through the hole right there. Could have been a seeing eye single. Love to step in a dive to his left. That's actually a harder play. It's almost easier to go backhand when you're reacting at third base. Nice play right there. Nice angle to the baseball. Ready now for the Marlins. Now J.J. Blade comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And it's gone. Awesome swing right there. You never know when that huge moment's going to come in the game. I know there's a little bit left in this one, but certainly they got. Now into the box, Tyson Randolph. He bounced out last time up. Here's the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Well that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch it's unhittable. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits no errors and no one left aboard. Part of the order three four and five coming up and we are tied two two. At the plate now is Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Mind drive, base hit to right. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting to the Marlins. Number five. Here's a looping fly ball out to right and that will conclude matters here in the seventh one left for Miami score remains deadlocked at 2 2 next up Tyson Randolph no hits in three tries so far he struck out once he's set here it comes. One out, nobody on. Come on now, get your pitch up there. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. And that misses two and one. Belted high and deep into right center. Racing back the right fielder to the track. It's out of here and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. Solo shot to right center as they've taken the lead. It's now three to two.
When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right, but it just kept carrying and carrying, and the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back, but no dice. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Atlanta Braves came through when the it mattered the in the ninth games. on the way to the win. The Tyler Matzik claims the win out of the pen, his hits. first. No Diego error. Castillo hammers down base. the save, his first of the year. So that's For a wrap Marlins, here tonight. From Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, no and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Afternoon baseball now from beautiful Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. Today we've got a contest out of the National League East between the Atlanta Braves and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball and it comes your way next. Pablo Lopez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Marlins. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, listen, when you can go seven full innings like he did, I know he got a no decision in his last start, but it was a real solid performance. If he continues to pitch like that, the wins are going to start coming. Now here's the first offering. Tyson Randolph stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. These Marlins as they take the field this afternoon. It's official now. They will not go 162 and 0 as they were handed their first loss of the season last time out. Yeah, man. Nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, D-Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip. So big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. Ready on one and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting blocks here in the first, giving up a couple of base knocks on that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. Digging in will be Tyson Randolph, worked a walk his first time up. From the belt, kicks and deals. The 1 0. Crawford stands at first with one out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And that's two free passes in the third inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got it. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the rookie second baseman, Arama Sadiman. Now a flare out toward right center. Albies ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make. Up next from Miami, John Birdie. 0 for 1, went down looking his first time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Miami down in order. It remains 1 nothing. 
And that brings up Javi Baez. In eight the at batter, bats in the series, he's collected Shortstop, three hits. Javier. Baez. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Solo home run there for Javi Baez. Home run number three here in the early going, and the Marlins have made this a two to one game. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. So bases are empty with one out now, and up next will now be the big catcher, catcher. Jorge Alfaro. Jorge. Oh, to right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Right fielder looking up. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as the Marlins have rallied back to tie it at two apiece. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. So next to hit is Tyson Randolph. He, of course, no slouch at the plate as he, in fact, took home the Silver Slugger Award for National League pitchers a season ago. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work? And now here is John Birdie. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 2 2. Adam Simber has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 90, Adam Simber. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Tyson Randolph. Tyson Randolph. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he couldn't hold back that time. They say he went around at strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Oh, and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great. Next, here is Tyson Randolph. One for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch on its way. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Here's Javier Baez. A base knock to the outfield the could score the tying run from second. Miami Javier. down to their last strike. Now Baez. a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. He brings it in, and the Braves have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. 4-2 to two, the final score today. Will Smith claims the win out of the pen his first. Diego Castillo wraps it up for the save his second. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The, the Show. Atlanta for more, Braves, head to the show.com. Seven hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base.
Well, the two-way experiment rolls on for him here in the show, but the pitching results haven't been as good as his success at the plate. Al Leiter joins us now. Al, does this mean they should end the experiment right now? I, I think you got to tap the brakes on that a little bit. You know, it, it's not easy, right? We're in major leagues, you know, these are the best hitters in the world. So uh, there's going to be some ups and downs. I, I think the idea of, of a two-way player having gone through the minor league system, you got to give him a, a longer leash, uh, you know, see how he can work his, his way out of it. I know his hitting is better right now than his pitching, but I wouldn't give up on him yet. That's former World Series champion Al Leiter with the latest. Al, thanks.